Dero. Eh uh, DNG zo. Yes, yes, check, check. <coughs> eh hey, we're back, we're back, we're back. Moja mbili tatu zaidi. Kaka slight break. This story is shika. I love it. I love the openness. I love the lessons. Hey bro, and I In fact, let me start by telling you mad respect for what you've done for this industry. Mm. A lot of times guys wait for guys to kick the bucket before they tell them thank you for what you did for the gospel industry. Yeah. Let me shock you. You were replaced by five guys. I keep I mean by say I say DNG was replaced by Esther, Giuliani, Michelle and Riga. Yeah. You what you carried what you, what DNG as a gospel hip hop musician did that gap was filled by four people because you'd hit them tag guys yeah you'd hit us urban guys us urban guys who've come uh, you'd 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 target my music targeted guys who've come from the world yeah. into thingy you'd also speak to chicks yeah that's michelle where she comes in yeah. riga speaks to the church you'd also do that yeah so that's Teachings. Yeah, yeah that's that shows the impact that you had on the gospel music industry but let's now begin talking about this transition yeah so now you get to the point where you're battling things in your head you're thinking what happens yeah so i i i questioned my faith i questioned the the dogma or the teachings the doctrine that i was being uh, taught uh, or, or or that I was being indoctrinated into and i felt like i felt that perhaps this is not what i want for myself so i began what i called then my journey of self discovery and uh, i wanted to understand who am i what do i like what do i love what do i want and why do i want these things uh do i want to be a christian do i want to be a gospel artist if so why if not why not and and that journey opened up pandora's box and ushered me into a self discovery uh process and i realized uh, perhaps that gospel music was not what i wanted to do anymore mm. um i began to stop enjoying doing gospel music i felt like gospel industry at the time was had put me in a box mm. in a box where i couldn't even like penzi for example had so much skeptics uh the, i was i felt like i wasn't free to explore uh, free to perhaps identify my art because art cannot have a limit it's limitless it's art is like a river let it flow and and you know i feel like once you 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 put blockades mm. the art ceases to flourish as an artist you need to be at your most free state at your most openness at your intense freedom so to speak you need to be allowed to pursue your craft your way because it's your craft never forget that and i believe even for the artists today who are struggling finding themselves i see a lot of this in in some of the music like people being asked are you doing what spell are you doing what it's somebody's craft like who are you to tell me what to sing about mm. or talk about mm. if if i take the time to write a song record a song film a video and release that song and video it's either you like it or you don't like it but the art belongs primarily and first to the performer of that art form and thereafter to the consumer you can look at a painting and not like a painting but it's perhaps beautiful to the person who painted it that's why we have different houses you can live here or somewhere else mm. there's choice mm. same with music i feel like we criticize music so much that it it's it even stops musicians from singing what they love like uh, Jimmy Gate. Mm. What a story of being uh, of, of experiencing a tirade of of ridicule and mm. satire and hate that he stopped doing what he loves. Imagine. Um even content creators I for example yeah. have had people throw their opinions on how I should do conduct my interviews and I tell them not interviews or conversations. Yeah. And I can conduct them in whatever manner I want. Yes. I can exactly. I can interfere exactly. when yes. I want. And that trying to get into people's boxes yeah. almost made me stop doing this. Exactly. So it 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 has music has the pot- uh, uh, fans have the potential to destroy a musician. Mm. and how they do it or even a content creator or let me just say let me generalize and say an artist Artists, yeah because an artist can be a fashion painter, designer yeah, a painter exactly. a creative a guy for websites animation like whatever anything. it may be yeah so with with criticism that is not objective comes destruction of self confidence um so what happens 
is, is pretty saddening that they shatter potential careers that could have been great. People who could have uh, provided and produced a, a extraordinary art form. Because not everybody has the, the toughness and grit to, to shield their craft from external interference. You understand? Mm. It takes a lot mm. to go through ridicule, mm. to go through hate consistently over the years and still churn out great content day after day. And funny enough, the people who uh, produce that hate are a very small percentage. Mm. But they're of, loud. Yeah, uh, yeah they're loud, mm. but they're a very small percentage of the population. That's something that you also need to understand. That when people are hitting on you on Twitter, for example, or hitting on you on IG, and, and some people are having conversations in their inbox, and those conversations are being screenshotted and shared as, as the gospel truth, or as a, a daily newspaper, for example, they, it's, 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 a, it's a small proportion of your entire fan base. So I'm, I'm saying this especially to my colleagues in the art industry or creatives. Do not let fools, <laughs> and I say fools because of, of the level of ignorance, fools dishearten you. Do not let fools divert you from your destiny. Because somebody is, is shouting out loudly does not mean that they are right. The adage also says that a king or a queen does not get off their high horse to address the barking dogs. Mm. Think about that for a minute. Mm. If you watch epics, you see the chariots, you mm. see the the cartridges. It's like a convoy yes. of chariots, yeah, chariots, so to speak, right? Or carts being pulled by horses. And the, the king is in that chariot or that cart with uh, the queen or uh, alone or with others. And on the sidelines, they are barking dogs. So what we do as artists is get off our destiny, get off our journey, get off our high horses, and start to address the doggies. The, doggies. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. the people who take time to, 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 to pile hate and mud and, and feces <laughs> on, 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 on your brand are idle people. Because Easter, if you are building your own destiny, you're building your own brand, CTA. At what point do you have the time, energy, and opportunity to pile mud on another person's brand? Mm. Mm. Pile, piling mud, hate, is projection of self, lack of self-confidence. Mm. It's projection of internal anger, uh, emotional state that you cannot fathom, and then you project it onto somebody else mm. and that's what haters are yeah haters yeah good one these negative bloggers come from that kind of space mm. where and 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 sometimes I, I i don't blame them much because some of these challenges emanate from a place of poverty some of these challenges emanate from unemployment disillusionment and a disgruntled state of mind so these people now project their it's okay you guys can pass Peter you can, can cut no, 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 yeah. no, Peter. Uh, okay, we cut. Okay, you were saying the, the projection, just continue this projection yeah. conversation. <clears throat> so, as I was saying, this, this, this people who are always negative about an artist or a creative or an art form or, or any form of production are people who are coming from a place of, of, of internal pain and anger that they need to manage. And, and, and because of the lack of perhaps ability and insight of how to manage it better, they project that rage on others. And mm. it could be from a dark place. Mm. And, and, and a lot of that has happened for many entertainers and that has crushed their self-belief. And when your self-belief is, is crushed as an entertainer, you cease to have the confidence to put out your art mm. form into to the create. world. To create. Mm. Because it's a, art is created at a point of vulnerability. I go to the studio and I record my song and I release it to the world to critique and to consume and to listen to and appreciate. So when it's it returned with bombarding, it, it, it shatters the uh, self-belief. Mm. And that is what has uh, stopped a lot of artists from continuing this journey. Let me, let me say this. 
I've actually never thought about this uh, this season because I was I was I had a few conversations with you in this season of you exiting. First of all, I'm realizing you are really young. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. You, 2005, I was uh, turning 19. What? Dude, you were in the, you were, you were, you were, you were a kid. What? You're turning 19, so 2006 when... The I was ex- still an adolescent. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you had already achieved so much um, at this young age. Yeah. Um, risen to the top gospel artists yeah, within, within within this sector. Correct. Um, there are people who spoke, a person like myself, Moz and Jugosh, we spoke to you from a perspective of love and worry. But we also have to understand, bro, you're an adult and part of being an adult is releasing and let yeah. let this guy go and learn for himself. Yeah. And also, we don't know what your destiny is. Correct. So who, people people have always who told... Who are we to book and to... You get what I mean? That is so profound, Esther, because people have always tried to tell me, come back to gospel, come back to, to salvation, come back to God. They do not know what my destiny is. They do not know my relationship with God. They do not know the reason and the backstory for my decisions. Hence mm. why we are having this conversation today to share the light more. Mm. And and people as sometimes even positively project their own intentions of you to you. Yep. Like somebody feels like, oh, you should continue ministering to our children. So please yes. come back to gospel music. It's, it's like when Peter told Jesus, we are not going to let you die. Yeah. Get behind me, Satan. You're trying to stop exactly. me from doing what I was created from, to do. From, yes, from achieving his purpose. His, yeah. On earth. Yeah. And even a good thing. Like us, we're not asking you to, to, to live a good thing. But that may have been stopping you from achieving a great thing exactly. and let me be real you've gone out to attain 20 times more 20 times more in you fact, get what i mean you're very right Esther, and i appreciate that so much because if i was still a gospel artist today i, be, I bet i wouldn't be where i am today i wouldn't have explored as much as i've explored today i wouldn't have thought of getting into mainstream getting into radio getting into television mm. starting an events company do, getting an agency registering it in kenya uganda tanzania yo i've set up an ngo i'm doing initiatives hustle ya kupunguza I'm working with corporates, government, mm. name it. I've done campaigns, mm. I've done, name a brand, most likely I've worked on it. Yeah, bro, in fact, let's, let's, <laughs> and that's what name I want to any, talk. top of your mind, top bro, brands. Cook. Yes, next. BAT. Next. You're done. Yes, I did the end of your party, shoot another one. Let's go. Uh, uh, My bro. brand base is ag- across all <laughs> sectors, banking, FMCG, alcohol, beverage, um ngos oil and gas yo okay like, sir but also <laughs> let me also say there are also mistakes that you have made correct. as a result of that so it's not we're not just sugarcoating yes. and trying to big things up here the, there are some huge mistakes yeah in your life that have been made i mean you've even named them penzi one right yes. here as a result of this new world that you stepped into correct. but mistakes are part of life yeah and it's a, it's, it's an exciting journey because uh it all plays an integral role in forming who you end up to be. Bro, you're seated here, we're having a convo. Yeah. And you know, like, I was thinking about it with my team and I was some clients have also been urging me to tell my story and reconnect the dots for my fan base and, and to just show how far the industry has come. And uh, I was thinking about that, introspecting, and I was saying, this is me coming of age. Mm. Right, oh, no, right here, right 30, now. We are saying 34. I'm 34, turning Shucks. 35 next year. So in some in some categories next year, inshallah, I'll see it being after next yes, year I'll see you, being a year. You, yes. <laughs> so this is like my coming of age, and that's why I feel like right now I can tell my story. People have been asking me, come do an interview, come do an interview, come do an interview. But I always ask for what? So normally I do interviews to promote my brands or my campaigns and mm. stuff. But now it's it's about me. I want to tell my story, and thank you so much for this opportunity. Yeah. It's a great platform, uh, most and trusted I- platform in Kenya for 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 open and uh, open talk and and that's positive and proactive and that tells a story for real because sometimes and from the horse's mouth yeah and sometimes media what they do they they sell a narrative and the negative sells a lot like this the the stories that trend are not the great stories of somebody Mm. has fed 50 students in 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 a impoverished school or somebody has bought uh, school uniform or somebody has paid school fees or somebody has uh, given jobs to 100 young people in Kenya. Those are not the stories that trend. The stories that trend is who was screenshotting what, mm. who was katiaing who. Those are the stories we tell as a generation. Mm. 
Mm. What nonsense <laughs> we are giving the, to the public domain. It's mm. wrong. And um, you know, gossip, gossip is foolery, Esther. I feel like we as icons, we as industry leaders, captains of industry, have a responsibility to bring back the narrative to what it should be. As media owners, as media, as content creators, we, we should not be caught up in the hype of, uh, of tarnishing other people's brands for a living. Mm. Surely. Like, uh, the I remember- The times are changing, bro. And that's why I love the accessibility. When you cut out the middleman, yeah. so when you cut out the media stations and everything, mm. and we have this conversation directly from the internet. Yeah. I mean, from you to the direct audience, yeah. we can speak here for six, seven hours. It doesn't right. matter. This leaves your mm. mouth. And I, I feel like, uh, we, yes, we can t take a lot of time focusing on negatives, but what does that achieve? If, if, if all I have to say is what Esther did that was wrong, one or two, three things that you've done that were wrong, rather than focusing on your entirety, your being, your contribution, your impact, surely. What Dude, are we talking me, about? Like, even the wrong, let's talk about the wrong, yes. but let's get the let's lessons be, let, in the... Exactly. It, let's get Because exactly. wrong we're all going to do. Let's, and we all make mistakes, yep. Esther. Mm. We all make mistakes. We all have uh, perhaps uh, lapse in judgment. I have many times, <laughs> and and I don't deny uh, your part, my my part, and my mistakes. Of course, there are some that people have wekeleyed me, notwithstanding. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I, I I allow people to say whatever they want. I don't take people to court for tarnishing my name. I don't have time for that. I believe in my brand. I know who I am. I understand myself. I understand my destiny. I understand my failures, I understand my mistakes, and I know where I'm going. Let me ask this question before we get into this song now that you've done, the first song that you recorded after this process. Where do you get that grit from? You get? Uh, and, I, and I don't mean this in a negative way when I say as a person who didn't have a father figure in their life. Yeah. You get? Yeah. A lot of men lack that Correct. grit. Correct. Yours is on a hundred, bro. You believe in yourself from the time I've known you. Yeah. You speak like yeah, you're about to take over the world. I'm like, bro, you're not really taking over the world, but come on. <laughs> but but you, like... you do, and you act like it. And no, you don't act like it. You truly believe it. Yeah. And it's and, and it's not about what I believe. It's about what you believe about yourself. Yeah. Who am I to... Exactly. You get? So I, I believe like if you're trying to make, take your hustle or turn it into a world-class hustle, you have to have a world-class mentality have world-class standards and world-class expectation. And and if you look at my brand, I was the first guy to be molecular in a newspaper because of having a technical rider in this country. <laughs> what? Yes. I'm the first guy they said my technical rider had asked for drinks, had asked for water, I'd even asked for lavatory. You know the portaloos? Mm. It's part of my technical rider. I'm the first artist to put it on paper and force my clients to, to sign. Others are not doing this show. Do you know why? Because crazy. I've gone to do a show for a big multinational brand in this country. I think it was Kisi. And there are no toilets. So, if you want to go number one or number two, <laughs> it is behind the, the, the truck. Concert, what? Esther. In this Kenya, you think people are unscrupulous? Was, was this as a gospel artist? No, no this was not mainstream, proper, yeah. with budget. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, agencies mm. are funny. Not every agency is professional. Mm. There are people who just do not take it seriously. So I put it in writing. And I, I expect my clients to fulfill their obligations that they have signed to. So when I say I need portalus dedicated, I expect that backstage. I need a changing area. Even things like changing areas where we are not being given, you change in the car. You change in the car, Yo, bro. male or female. Dancers are changing in the car, man. We didn't have tents at the backstage tents. So I had to put it in writing. You have to bro, deliver this bro, for this me. this MC conversation, go, I think will take three hours. <laughs> but you go backstage, you see there's no food, there's no water. So I put it in writing. I have a basic number of bottles of water that I require. Soda. I require, if it's an alcoholic beverage, I require this. This one. If it's a, a, a transport, this is the kind of vehicle I require. If you are unable to provide it, give me the per diem and I will secure myself. I can drive myself even. Mm. If it's an airline, this standard. Mm. 
because your it's transport is on you don't tell me you know, we'll find you at the venue i rejected a big brand uh, maybe two years back i will not mention of course no, no problem but i rejected them because they were unable to provide the transport requirement that i wanted a client wanted me to enter a van come squished with guys and go together I'm not at that standard of life anymore. Mm. Esther. Anymore. I like anymore. that word. Yes. Umesha tama. Kitambo mm. tungepanda hata <laughs> scan ya. <laughs> na tuende. Mm. Saa hii I can have my own vehicle. Mm. Your own van. If I can have one. Even that van I had it. I mm. sold it some of my vans. Mm. Just give me the view and I will drive myself. <laughs> so ni kakuwa ni matusi nini? I'm like it's not a must I do this job. Eh? I also have a team as you've seen today. Mm. I'm not a one man show. I have people working on my brand, documenting my adventures, mm. <laughs> documenting my my stage performances, taking photos of me on stage. I'm I'm going to be the guy I'm filming, I'm jumping on stage, I'm I'm seeing, I'm giving out giveaways and I'm filming myself. The, the clients must understand that this is not an MC they have picked from the road. This is somebody who has built a brand for 16 years. They might take it as arrogance. But it's the truth. Eh? Ah, bro, hold on. Hey, I want you know, you've excited eh. you've teased us with this MC conversation. Let Bad. me tell you, we are going to talk about this MC thing for a minute. And Esther, can I say just eh, something? No, no, small? no, of course, of course. Ya hapo ndio nikupatie nafasi. Uweze kuregesha gumzo hili pahali lina linastahili. Esther, if you understand how this corporate same corporate brands that are denying Kenyan artists the rights and the privileges that they deserve how they treat international artists mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when they come here and roll out a red carpet from their countries let's say Nigeria South Africa or wherever they're coming from security eh, payment first they pay them 50 a hundred times what they are saying telling a Kenyan artist they have no budget mm. And you'll headline that show, you'll MC that show or perform in that show, pull the numbers for a guy from another country to come and take your birthright, <laughs> be given s- s- soft f- fur towels, yet you cannot even be given a bottle of water. Yet they are being given business class of them and the entourage and groupies. Mm. But you and your manager are being squeezed in a van in the same concert. Does it make sense? I decline. <laughs> I'm not on that, that level of desperation, mm. but uh, <laughs> you decline. We have done free shows, which is important to say. Yes, because my stripes are real, <laughs> but <I> generally <laughs> top shatter. It's not at I, I create a facade. No, no. De- I've done free shows for many years. My gospel career from 2003, 4, 5 into 6, I did not earn any money. DNG, please. So now Gani. today. <laughs> When my brand I've done a free mine Lagos man Eco Hotel hosting the biggest For real? Yes, I am see the free man. Proper. Bro, do you understand? International levels bana. Wachana hizi events hapa ndogo ndogo. So they are I'm, I'm on stage with Olami Day aka Casper New Vest. It's that level of entertainment. We're not small fish. But Kenyans we are at fault because we accept the nonsense. We as entertainers have ec- encouraged our clients that we are worthless. That is why a client will offer an artist $100,000 or $50,000 that's 5 million 10 million shillings mm-hmm. and you are paid 50k. Mm. And you think it's almighty amazing. <laughs> Surely. In the same event we have artists taking peanuts. That is not a, a standard of any entertainer at an international event or at a, at a national event with a big sponsor. It is not a university concert. Even Mr. and Miss Universities, they charge, they pay better. Mm. <laughs> Even a club of earrings will pay better than a big concert. How strange. This is crazy. Bro, I mean, you know, uh, stuff in this you, country. You're talking, let me tell you, I I don't think I've understood the magnitude of the impact that you've had in the MC world and, and I want to understand it and I love it because I don't understand it. So I'm going to ask very layman questions to understand. Secondly, you've talked about this thing of doing free gigs. Every creative that I have <laughs> in this space, I want to start talking about this exposure conversation. Yeah. Because the narrative going out that has gone out is don't do freebies 
I think the narrative of don't do freebies, or I personally believe that the narrative of don't do freebies is to a specific group of people. Mm. You have to earn your stripes. Mm. What's your first of all? What's your conversation about this exposure? And then we enter this jam that you did. Is it with the Kolo? Yeah, what the same water choker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, first transition, correct. Um, what's the, what's your exposure thing? So you're right. You have to earn your stripes.